Right, it's uh, day five of the uh, Armenia adventure. I'm probably, you can probably tell I'm feeling a little bit fresher today. Had a full night's sleep, had two showers, didn't want to waste them because tonight I'm going to have to use this, which is our black plastic sack, which you heat the water on the roof during the day and then uh, shower at the end of the evening. Um, tonight we're going to be um, heading to the Dakar camp. We're finally actually going to see the Dakar race. Hopefully we're going to um, be able to see some of the drivers. We're going to see the trucks, the bikes, the cars come in into service and out again. Um, we're going to be camping just down the road. Apparently the town we're going to is going to be absolutely rammed. With, there's um, normally 1,500 people there. It's going to be 10 times that tonight, 15,000 people. Um, and we're going to be camping just down the road. So looking forward to finally seeing the Dakar um, and taking that Mini on some more adventurous roads. So this is our first sight of the Dakar. We've um, actually caught some of the teams on the same road um, that we're heading to um, the camp uh, tonight. Uh, it's the Mitsubishi team here. Some proper uh, Mitsubishi cars. So a little village on the way here. I think they're probably as lost as we are. So um, this is the guys rolling out. But nice, nice to see we're finally caught up with the race, albeit the uh, support trucks. Okay, welcome to camp. This is uh, day five, and we've finally found uh, where we're going to be staying. It hasn't taken us long, we've only been on the road about um, two, two and a half hours this morning. Been through some really mad uh, construction zones with huge, huge drops off the side of a mountain that I really would not fancy going down the side of. It was pretty cool though. Um, can't believe it was open to the public. I mean, in the UK, some of the roads that they have open here in Argentina would simply not be open at all. Anyway, um, I'm in a good mood because I've just been handed this. This is our entry to the uh, Dakar Rally um, uh, hospitality area. We're going to see the um, service um, take place. We're going to see the cars arriving, uh, probably see some of the cars leaving. Um, after five days of uh, hunting this down, I'm really, really pleased. This is finally what I'm here for. This is what I've come to see. Um, on the roads today, there's, the, the, the streets are lined with lots of fans. We've seen a lot of the service vehicles following the um, competitors around, which has kind of heightened the excitement. So. Um, I'm really, really excited to see some cars, so on my next update will hopefully be from the Dakar service area. Okay, so finally we've made it. This is it. Dakar base camp in uh, Chilecito. This wasn't here yesterday. These people weren't here yesterday. None of these tents or cars were here yesterday. It was just a dusty open field. Now it's filled with the chaos. I've actually finally made it to the service area of the Dakar Rally. I mean, the, uh, the mini guys are working hard. Um, we've just been told about Nanny Roma's accident, and well, not accident, sorry, his, his car failing, the fact he's uh, may, may still finish 10th. Uh, we've heard about NASA, um, who's currently in um, first place overall. So it's, uh, th these guys seem pretty happy at the moment. Uh, not quite as happy as me, who's been chasing this for uh, full five days now. and. Um, I finally got here. I mean, it is amazing. It's like a mini village uh, has just been, well, mini city has just been thrown up in the middle of a, a dusty desert. I, I mean, it's incredible. I'm so, so pleased that, that we've managed to find it and it's it's just been a brilliant trip. And it is thanks to that, uh, that little mini countryman. You know, we've been driving a standard car through some of the, the most amazing terrain, some of the worst terrain I've ever, ever driven a car on. And it's on the same wheels that you'd buy from your local dealer uh, to make it look nice. It's incredible. What a trip.